Hello. So here we are again with the continuation of the Violet mug. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and do what we did on the very first painting, which is to frame the violet with some of that rich, beautiful color. But now it's going to take it a little bit better, easier, because there's some underpainting. Now I'm going to keep rotating the piece so that I can get some nice smooth strokes framing my petals. I try to do sort of a close up because I know this when painting smallish flowers like this, it's a little bit hard to see. And so I hope that um, this helps. I'm trying different things, see what works best. Now I'm starting to do some painting inside the petals. So still trying to hang on to three values, a light, a medium, and a dark. I'm hoping this does not have too much glare. But we'll see. So basically, it's just adding more of the same. That little corner on the brush is so good how it can just go into different little corners. See, some of the petals of the strokes are almost um, the shape of the petals. So it's okay to get a few extra petals without detail, just to give the sense that there's a lot of more violets in the background and um, portions of petals. And here we go, all the way around. And at the same time, you want to keep in mind, you don't want to do like a round circle around your design. You, you were making kind of like an S shape. It's just um, seems to be more pleasing to the eye when we can break things up like that. All right, so now I think we're ready to add a little bit of the um, green to accentuate your foliage, your two leaves that we have here. See, like this and have a little bit of a variety of colors and values. It's springtime right now. Everything is blooming. 
including mugs. All right, let me shade. Let's do a little sh more shading. This one looks a little bit like it needs a little, looks a little anemic to me. Let's give her a little bit of life. Also, I just noticed it doesn't have the nice yellow center that the other ones do have. This This yellow, it's already fire this one isn't so let's uh, forget that one okay so now I think the next thing we're gonna do is the little faces that are so sweet and expressive and that we are going to do, we are going to use that little liner brush or I think we're going to use the Crow Creole pen. That's the one we used for um, <clears throat> when we were doing the, the personalizing that mug. So it's that same pen and we're going to load our pen right here and we're going to test it to see that it's not going to be too big of a, a clump it's coming out too thick I have to thin it out a little more uh, so let me get some turpentine and make it inky it needs to be a little runny consistency which is um, it's not thick like a paste so the only thing it has to be just the right mixture because if it's too wet then it gets runny then it goes all over the place so it has to be just right see that's too thick and you have to go too very fast Okay, let's see what happens. Let's try it. Ooh, that's too much. So I get my little friend and my little wiper, wiper. Okay, well, the solution to that is usually I have to wait for it to evaporate. I don't think um, in this video that I want to wait for it to evaporate. So I'm just going to use this little mini liner brush, which is working just fine for now anyways. Okay, so I'm going to do another little, it's like a teepee. It's in the shape of a V. Let's do some down here. That's a little long, but it'll be okay because we, we can shorten it in a minute. some here
So you go in the ink, you twirl it around, you pull towards you, hopefully to get a, a reload it and get a nice point. Okay, that seemed to work out. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to revisit this. This one's a little shorter than I would like. Okay. Oh, this main one does not have the middle ones. So here we go. That's a prima donna. We can't forget every one of those little petals needs attention. Okay, now we want to add a tiny little bit of more yellow right in the center here. And we do that with the tip of the wipeout tool. All right, so now I think we can also do that, this one here in the middle. Okay. And this only has one long one. So we're going to give her a little balance, add a couple more, one on each side, like this. And then I think that this one here, it's a little heavy, it's a little too thick. So with a clean brush, we just sort of scoot that out of the way. All right. Let me emphasize a little more shading. And I did mention last time that we were going to need a bud. This little spray is going to need a little bit of bud. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this little brush here. And we're going to make like a little, think of it as a candy cane or a hook like that and then let's give it a little like a little leaf there and let's fill in the center the middle up in between those petals we're going to add a couple more. There's one, and here's two, right before they open. That's one. Now, the other thing that I think would be kind of nice is to have maybe some stems right here. They're very stemmy. So now the stems would continue. They're not just going to start there, right? So we would continue. Just a hint that there is that they are coming from somewhere. Like right there and right here. Yeah. That's going to work out. Now I think that's going to be it.
I think we got it. This is just shapes of more. It's a little bit more hints of um, background violet. I'm, yeah, background violets. Okay, now maybe something else. Maybe I want to wipe out a tiny little bit here. See, you, it's kind of carved out. Carved out from the background. All right, I'm going to sign it. And I think that's it for the... Maybe, maybe I'll soften the, the background a little bit right in here it's a little competing a little too much with the bud right this right here we made that bud so we don't we want to show it off a little bit so maybe we need to soften this area here see I'm just showing you kind of my thinking process why I did that. I did that because now this one is showing off a little more. Also here, let's soften that edge. Feather, feather, it, feather it out. Remember that from last one, from the last demo? Little term that China Painter use. We use that quite a bit. Feather it out and get those. I think that is better. I think that kind of softened. At the same time, bring some of that color to the middle, towards the center of our subject. Okay, I hope that that is something that you can see. And um, we are done. Thank you very much.